President Biden and Kamala Harris signed an Asian hate crime bill, which makes it beyond illegal to ever purposely and maliciously do anything to anybody in the Asian community. And there was a spike in crimes and criminal behavior in and around COVID, allegedly and specifically motivated by Trump. And so everybody started treating Asians, beating them, killing them, shooting them, stabbing them, hurting them. And then he gets into the White House, skips over every black and brown Mexican and Latino that have been getting killed like flies, and he makes it a law. Asian hate crime bill is signed into law. So whether you're a police officer or a regular civilian, if you wake up on a Wednesday and say, he's Asian, a woman or a man, let's go do something bad to them, which God forbid would ever happen again. But it is a crime bill that was signed into law that protects Asians at all costs. Where is that same fucking law? Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother and even a broke clock is right twice a day. What I mean by that is Tyrese says a bunch of stupid shit every now and again. He hits the nail on the head. Now, this is the second thing I agree with him on. The first thing was why can't black people stick together like the Jewish people or the Asians, the Latinos, Blase Skippy. This right here, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think it's an Asian hate crime bill. I think it's a, a COVID relief act that they pass in that one of the parts of it it actually stipulates protection of asian people because ever since donald trump called it the asian flu and then left office and biden got in office asians were getting tore up during the pandemic beat up shops getting broken into um they wasn't getting a lot of customers and shit because people was quarantined and had no bread and they wasn't issuing out the money fast enough so they issued out money to Asian people to the tune of $43 million or Asian businesses to the tune of $43 million. So he's right partially, but that's not what the actual name of it's a COVID relief act. What I will say is, and then just before anybody like stops me, I'll explain. He He's conflating the 1994 crime bill and the Asian relief or COVID relief act and what it has to do with Asian people. He's conflating it too, right? But as an entertainer, shouldn't be taking your cues from entertainers anyways. But he is right when he says like, Yo, where's the protection for black people? Cause he did skip over black and brown people. We still getting shot, tore out the line. And hell, even the white people is getting shot by police with impunity. Like some white dude went and shot 11 people in a Buffalo grocery, Buffalo grocery store. Another white dude went to another grocery store, shot some black people. Um, like, it's just been running rampant. I think the only notable incident where Asian people was killed was when some white dude went up in a nail salon and shot eight women that were employees that worked in a nail salon. Like, that's the only one I can think of. Which I'm not saying they don't need protection. All minorities or people of color or non-white people need protection. But they should have addressed the police brutality and shit like that. That Trump and even Obama just seem to like not address. In any event, if you like this episode, you know what to do. And I'm out.